fundamentally, I didn't know what a marching band was. I mean, from the inside out. And once I began to think about investigating the magic that I saw in front of me in parades and, and its activity, and to begin to see what, what it was that, I, that made this work, a world opened up about the process of a marching band that both intrigued me and fascinated me, but educated me. My name is Jules Allen. Uh, I'm a photographer. I teach at Queensborough College. The book that we're talking about is a book of photographs called Marching Bands. And I uh, published it here on the campus. The first time I saw a marching band, it brought tears to my eyes. It was one of the most magnificent displays of human celebration that I had ever seen. I saw Morgan State marching down the street in Harlem, Lenox Avenue. I can't even begin to tell you how beautiful it was. I, I had never seen it live. And then there was another band, and then there was another band, and then there was another band. And they all had this fundamental magic. But when the bands who had the high magic <laughs> The book took about five years to photograph. The initial early photographs were made in New York City. And then from there, I went to Philadelphia, DC, Chicago, Texas, Louisiana, Florida. Because then I began to find out about particular parades that were specific to African-American culture. In Chicago, there was the Bud Billiken Day Parade, which is the largest black parade in the country. Well, I had never heard of it. Joe Lewis, in his text, has this beautiful, beautiful essay on the history of marching bands and how uh, in black cultures, marching bands carried information at one time. When we weren't allowed to read or write, it was the marching bands that carried information, that transmitted uh, information. From there, the military. And if you couldn't participate as a soldier fighting, uh, you in the military were part of a marching band, which came back to the United States in the, in the streets, and then the church got involved. Uh, and so we developed our own uh, take on the marching band uh, in Florida. The band director at Florida a and created the whole marching band culture that's specific to how we do things, particularly in the rhythms of the drum, a la Africa. And the idea that the marching band is about discipline and practice and focus, not this, that, do, do, that. No, 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 no. One, two, one, two, one, two, three, four. Day in, day out, practice, practice, discipline. This is the photograph for me that was the most significant in the book. Because I didn't know what this was, that to learn a part of an activity that was so prevalent in the culture that I didn't know anything about. After all is said and done, the band is in the stadium. The band is in the stands. Here comes the drum major, and, and he's got this hand hooked behind him, and he's got this staff. After all this, all these people stand up, and here comes this cat with this. And it's just like, whoa. And I had never seen it up close. And that I was lucky enough to photograph it. You know, I was, I mean, lu not lucky enough, I tell you that. I was good enough to photograph it. The most rewarding and gratifying part of uh, photographing the marching band was learning how to do it because I didn't know what I was looking at. And it took study and learning and practice and discipline. I had to get up at six in the morning, four in the morning, because the cover photograph of the sousaphones and the light, with the light bouncing all over. I went out the day before and saw where they were gonna line up. I saw where the parade was gonna start. So I knew that's where the instruments would be. I looked east and said, the sun's gonna rise in that direction. I knew this. If I'm there when the sun comes up with those instruments, those big brass instruments, 
baby. And there it was. That to me was learning. That I was actually teaching myself to master the craft.